Question four is testing your knowledge of um, the periodic table and in particular groups two and seven. So in part A, we're being tested on our knowledge of the reactivity trend in group two going down the group. The question's asking about the reaction with chlorine, but it doesn't matter, it'll be the same trend for all the reactions of group two. So what is the trend? The reactivity increases down the group and the reasons. The atomic radius is increasing and that's because you've got more shells in the way because of the more elect the increased number of electrons. That's going to increase your shielding between the uh, protons in the nucleus and the outer electrons. That means that the outer electrons are going to be attracted less strongly. And sort of to finish off your answer, you would say, so therefore it's easier as you go down the group to remove the outer electrons. And that's why the reactivity increases. The second part of the question is testing your knowledge of the halogens, in particular your knowledge for the testing for iodide ions or halide ions. So the first thing is how could you show that um, the solution contained calcium iodide or iodide ions in particular? You'd use silver nitrate solution and there's the formula. So either of those would do. What's the observation that you would make? you would get a yellow precipitate, and that's due to silver iodide being formed. There's the ionic equation. Just remember your state symbols, because it asks for them. Silver iodide is a solid, it's a precipitate, so the state symbol changes from aqueous to solid. And then the final part of the question is a little bit trickier. Imagine you've got another sample of calcium bromide, but it's contaminated with calcium iodide. So if you just added the silver nitrate solution, you're going to get um, a cream precipitate of silver, of silver bromide, sorry, and you're also going to get a yellow precipitate of silver iodide. And so therefore, you're not really going to be able to tell that you've got both in there from those two colours because they're so similar. So what else could you add to prove that there was iodide ions in there? Well, you'd need to add concentrated ammonia solution. So concentrated ammonia will dissolve the silver bromide, but it won't dissolve the silver iodide. So you'd still see a yellow precipitate in that tube. If you didn't say concentrated and you, you just said ammonia solution or dilute ammonia solution, silver bromide does not dissolve fully in that. So you'd still see that. Silver iodide doesn't dissolve at all in that. So that's not really going to prove that you've got iodide ions in there. So concentrated is a key word in that answer.